Welcome IGCSE students, great to have you along again. Uh, this week we're going to be looking at indices and standard forms, so for most of you I think this is fairly familiar territory, although I'm sure there will be one or two things that we can work on and improve on. This first exercise in 12.1 is looking at squares, cubes, square roots and cube roots. Um, I think this will be fairly easy, so you should be able to whip through this exercise. I'll just demonstrate a few from uh, the exercise just to get you on your way. So here are the ones I'm going to do. Uh, 1a is 3 squared. What does this mean? Well, we're thinking in terms of a, a square which is made up of equal sides, so 3 by 3. In other words, 3 squared, which is 9. Uh, 5 cubed is, we're going into three dimensions here, so, and all of those dimensions in a cube are going to be equal, and this gives us our volume. So 5 cubed, you're thinking about, it, that's horrible really, anyway, you get the general idea, is going to be 5 to the power of 3, or 5 times 5 times 5, so this is simply 125. 1 1.2 squared, this means 1.2 times 1.2. And you know that 12 times 12 is 144, so 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44. 0 0.3 cubed, this means uh, 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. Uh, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, but we're going to have uh, three numbers behind the decimal place. So 0 0.027 is our answer here. Now let's move over to this other side here. The positive square root of... Uh, 1 over 100. So we're doing this. Now another way of doing uh, square root of refraction is the square root of the numerator over square root of the uh, de denominator. And so in this case it's going to be 1, square root 1, it's 1, over square root of 100 which is 10. Same kind of principle applies to here, the cube root of 1 eighth. Uh, it'll look like this. So uh, we will go cube root of 1 over the cube root of 8. Cube root of 1 is 1. Cube root of 8, what times what times what makes 8? This is going to be 2. Uh, the square root of 81, well you know that 9, 9 is 81, so 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 is 0 0.81. This one here, the cube root of 64,000. Now just imagine for a moment that we were doing the cube root of 64, and you would know this would be 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So the cube root of this is going to be 4, and then we've got those three zeros. It's going to be 40. 40 times 40 times 40. The three zeros will get us that, and the 4 times 4 times 4 will get us a 64, so 64,000. So we're in our second uh, question that we're going to look at. This is question 4 on your textbook. Uh, we've got this girl, Julie. She says that 4x squared is equal to bracket 4x all squared. Uh, is she right? Well, no, she's wrong, and I'm sure you already know this, but let's just, uh, let's just assume that x is equal to, say, uh, 2. 4 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. What about this one? 4 times 2 is 8. 8 squared is 64. So that's not equal. Uh, this here is actually equal to 4x multiplied by 4x, which is equal to 16x squared. They are not the same. We can use what we know about our, our cube numbers and our square numbers to make some estimates of what a, a square number might be. So, for instance, let's look at this one here. You know on one side of it the square root of 36 is equal to 6, and on the other side of this you know that the square root of 25 is equal to 5, and you can see that this is in, in between these two. Uh, to get from here to here it is 7, and to get from here to here is 4. So you should be able to work out that this is going to be closer to square root 36 than it is to square root 5, so we could make an estimate and say, well, it's roughly, say, 5.7. And you can check that on your calculator. Really at our stage, we just need to make sure that we're, uh, for something like this, above 5.5 and below 6.0, and we'll be okay. We could also try another one uh, with a cube root this time. So let's say we have the cube root of, say, 12. 
Well, we know on one side of this, perhaps the lower side, we've got cube root 8 is equal to 2. And then the cube root 27 is equal to 3. Now we can see that this is only uh, 4 away from this one, whereas this one is, uh, what is it, 12, uh, 15, I think. Yes, yes, sorry. 15 away from here. So clearly much closer to this. So we could make an estimate at, say, maybe 2.2 or thereabouts. Uh, so that's how we do rough estimates of cube and square roots. I hope that helps you with uh, getting on with this exercise. Good luck, guys, and have fun.